Hi class, Dr. Sands here. I want to say hello and welcome to uh, your class, uh, DMKT360 Consumer Messaging. All right, I wanted to take a, mess, uh, take a minute again to say hello and welcome and introduce myself to you virtually, Dr. Sands, and uh, just check out some key areas of your classroom and uh, go from there. Okay, so um, always check out the announcement section as I do post, uh, fr frequently post announcements here, uh, almost weekly. And what I have posted in here to start the class is, uh, you know, welcome to class, uh, briefly introduce yourself in the community area, uh, talk a little bit about references and in-text citations. So, you know, your discussion posts, your initial discussion posts, uh, at a minimum, you need to have uh, that supported with a reference, and that reference you need to use in text as a citation. And of course, when you write a paper or PowerPoint, whenever you need to reference, you have to use that reference at least once in the body of your assignment. All right, uh, APA paper uh, and video. Uh, please take a minute to watch this, uh, and we talk about uh, properly formatting your papers with APA. So uh, the APA manual is a great manual. It pulls out a lot of good stuff, but you don't need to know all that. Really, for the size papers and things you do here, you only need to know a little bit about the entire manual. So I actually taught APA for a while while well, I was a dry class. And, but uh, so I just kind of baked in, you know, really the key things you need to know. Um, so if you can, please watch the video. It's just a few minutes, but it really points out the key areas of APA that I'm especially going to be looking for and something you can take with you throughout your academic journey is what I point out there. All right. Also, um, <clears throat> reminder on the LAP policy regarding uh, AI, artificial intelligence. Uh, it's not okay to write your paper using chat TBT or any other AI tool. Uh, the system will pick up on it. There's a certain logarithm that it detects and it will call it out. So please just do your own work and you don't have to worry about that. And then, of course, about your professor, uh, just a little bit about my background, um, what, uh, what industry I work in, currently what I do, my teaching and academics, all that like, good, fun kind of stuff. All right, let's go back to the main course room here. Um, so some important links is your syllabus. Um, your syllabus is uh, really important to uh, check out now review it, understand it, um, see where your assignments are located. And then when you do, uh, when you have an assignment, uh, of course, within the course portal, it's gonna give you what the assignment is about, uh, what the expectations are, also, and what, you know, what, what your deliverable is. Also look at the syllabus too, because see the syllabus is also my grading rubric. So you know, you know, your assignment needs to not only cover what it says in the instructions, but also make sure you need to cover what it says in the rubric as well. As well. So in the, in the um, syllabus. So please always check the syllabus when you look at your assignments. Um, the Ask Professor link, um, you can feel free to post a question in here. Um, really the best way to um, get in touch with me is email me. Uh, I have, uh, of course, an uh, LAP uh, you know, email on my phone, it's on the computer. I see that pretty uh, pretty quickly, and um, I can also text me uh, as well. Um, and that's preferable, so I can I see it quicker and I can get back to you quicker. Um, the community that's where I posted an announcement. Uh, please um, go into the community and say hello. Say a little bit about yourself. I always like to know like uh, about the students. You know, I, uh, whereabouts in the world you you sit. Uh, you know, what about your academic journey? You know, your work, a little bit about your, you know, what you like, things like that. Just, uh, you know, helps in this virtual, you know, environment uh, to, you know, learn and get to know, uh, get to know each other in the community. And then, of course, the study room, you know, if you want a place to connect with your peers as well. Uh, live tutoring and then online counseling. So that rounds that, rounds that out. Um, so with this class here, if we go to week one, tells us a little bit more about what our class is about. I'm going to click on what's in it for you. Uh, so skills connect with the consumer, deliver content across all digital messaging platforms, 
make decisions about consumer messaging platforms, analyze consumer messaging analytic data, engage with customers in diverse populations. So obviously, you know, in the in the workforce, uh, there's uh, consumer messaging is an important aspect of staying in touch with your consumers. Uh, and for like for myself, uh, I work at uh, Providence uh, Health and Services in the big hospital system, and we communicate with our patients all the time via you know text messages and, and email and other platforms uh, as well. So um, really good stuff, and of course. Then what we're going to be looking at is analyze digital marketing strategies for consumer messaging, deliver across multiple channels, uh, channels you just add, you know, text, email, um, social media, things of that nature. Uh, evaluate consumer data for uh, the creation of engaging messaging to reach uh, diverse populations. So, uh, you know, when you, you're going to do a very targeted, you know, uh, community, uh, consumer communications, uh, identify consumer messaging platforms to meet uh, operational uh, automation needs. There's a bunch of those out there these days. Uh, design automated workflows to streamline consumer communication processes. Uh, recommend consumer messaging strategies and tactics that align with the ethical and Christian worldview. You know, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, when we uh, act in the workforce, we have a as a Christian perspective and how, especially how we communicate with peers and consumers and things for that nature. All right. Well, that's, you know, that's kind of it. Um, oh, I do wanted to touch on one more thing. We'll go back to the horse home here. So of course, you know, every week, uh, you, you click on your week and you're going to have your discussion questions. Uh, make sure that uh, you're prompt on that. So for assignments, this is uh, the assignments that you will have for this class, uh, Consumer Messaging Part 1 uh, Expert Interview Podcast, uh, which is in week 3, uh, Consumer Messaging Part 2 Peer Interview Podcast, week 5, and then week 7, Workflow Automation Narrated Presentation uh, in week 7. Uh, I'm going to also post in the... Um, uh, and the announcements on how to properly format a presentation. Now in there I say PowerPoint, but I know you know these days there's uh, you know more than just PowerPoint, especially when you're doing an audit, uh, narrated automation, narrated presentation. So I will post in there uh, what my expectations will be for your PowerPoint set, so it aligns with the APA formatting. Um, that's about it. So I am super excited to be with you in this class for this term. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Like I said, email, you can text me, and uh, I do make it a point to get back with you uh, right away. Um, for myself, all my schooling, um, you know, I did, uh, you know, at night as uh, an adult at Pepperdine and Villanova and Walden, my academic journey, and uh, so I know what it's like to, to work, have a family, and then do school as well. So, um, so I always like to get back to you right away. All right. So, uh, again, welcome to class. Uh, Dr. Sands here. Uh, I'm excited, uh, excited for this journey we're going to be on and uh, blessings to you today. Thank you.